What you got to do to get the life that God wants you to have, take yourself out your comfort zone. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. Rich people don't sleep eight hours a day. That's a third of your life. It ain't but 24 hours in a day. You cannot be sleep eight hours a day. You can't live in LA and wake up at eight o'clock in the morning. It's 11 o'clock on the East Coast. The stock market been open two hours. They already making decisions about your life. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute, or an hour, or a day, or even a year. But eventually, it will subside. And something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. Every single person who has ever done anything worthwhile, or exceptional, or difficult, or extraordinary, anyone, whether it's great artists or authors or mathematicians or whatever the f it is everyone encounters difficulties there is no easy road it does not exist it is impossible everyone has issues if you have time to pursue a hobby if you have time to do anything in your life you can better yourself and here's one way you never better yourself when you come up with excuses for why other people are successful and you're not. Everybody has a hard road. I wanted to jump out a window several times during my young life. I wanted to jump in front of a train and just end it because it's too much pressure. We all go through hard times. We all go through depression. We all do go through doubt and, and then moments in your life. That is what makes you a person. And those difficult moments are what build your character. one thing that discipline definitely does help you with is it, it helps you get things done and when you get things done when you you, you actually do things you, you 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 have more success if you have more success and sometimes a, a big part of success is just not being lazy and just doing it yeah just get that's like 90 percent of it is just showing up get there and start working like you're not going to feel perfect every day if i felt if i only worked out when i felt good i'd be a fat because there's a lot of days I don't want to do it. I mean, it's pretty much the same with everybody that if, that actually gets good at something. That you you get there's got to be those days you push through, and they're they're probably going to be more numerous than the days you don't. And so the benefit of discipline in my eyes has always been that through discipline I get things done. I always tell my I always say that I'm like the most lazy disciplined person I know because I don't want to do it. Yeah, but I always do. Our bodies, for whatever reason, uh, most people, their associations are to avoid anything that's uncomfortable. But it's so illogical because when you look at comfort and you look at success and progress and the eventual, the feelings of accomplishment and of getting past certain hurdles in, in terms of like how you feel about life, a lot of those are connected to discomfort. Like discomfort is your friend. It really is like discomfort and uh, and not being happy and content with certain situations in life or certain feelings in life. They're massive, massive motivators, and they're they're amazing at at facilitating change. And yet our instinct is to avoid those and just sit on the couch and watch some reality show about dudes who make moonshine with our jaw open. Like ooh, it's it's bizarre. a lot of artists and comics, um, I, I, I bet musicians as well, but we're writers for sure. One of the big problems is sitting down and doing the work. Mm -hmm. And you, you got to, and Pressfield talks about that in the most concise and beautiful way. And he labels it like an enemy, he calls it resistance, mm -hmm. you know, and that you have to sit down, you have to overcome resistance and that the pro goes to work. And it doesn't matter if you're sick, doesn't matter if you have kids, it doesn't matter what you, you're a pro and you go to work. Just, it puts it in your head. 
that this is what I do. This is what, and you have pride in that. And then when you are in front of that keyboard and you're, you're, you got, you look down the count, it says, I got a thousand words today. I put a thousand words in. You, you know, and yeah. you, you, you're doing the work. Yeah. And out of that work, gems blossom. Yeah. Little things, but you might have a day where you just write nothing but dog, so what? Show up again tomorrow. And tomorrow out of that dog, the flower will emerge. You never know. And that's the only way to develop real, like, to, to really develop your potential 100% in anything. 